of running on Stars and Barrels for the Summer Cup. For this cup I'm going to play with Pidgeot, with Charger Bug as a safe switch and Shadow Swampert as a closer, let's see how this team will perform. So this is an awful lead, the Lantern, I'm going to switch for Charger Bug here. And this guy just brings a Vigoroff, which is fine, because Vigoroff only deals super effective damage with the Rock Slide. And this guy was going for straight Body Slump, so fine by me at this point and you only have to throw the egg scissors and I have to show the, the next move because I want to switch, win the switch advantage here fine I'm going to double shield again and I will force this guy to to spend a shield but this guy has to let it go which is fine and now it's lantern, and here I misplayed because I I, lo I lost the amount of energy that lantern was running, and I made some mistakes on this game. So now it's going to be a surf, and now I just throw energy on the surf here with a pidgeot in the back. I was just sleeping on this game. Let's see if I can still beat it because I made some mistakes in this game. I was like half an hour walking from sleep so <laughs> I made these dumb mistakes here <clears throat> and here in order to beat this guy I have to go for feather dance all the way to lower the attack and that's the way to play this guy is forced to dump energy and let's see if I can beat it kind of fortunate I'm going to get a surf, but this guy is with the attack really lowered by the feather dance, and the shadow somper survived that surf, and it's going to be a good game. Even with the amount of misplays that I did in this game, I could pick the win because the win condition was already when I beat the Vigoroff, but I I misplayed when I didn't throw the energy on Lantern instantly because I lost the the fast moves that Lantern has accumulated with the previous battle. So now this guy just brings Swampert, I get a, another bad lead, that's why I bring the Charger Bug. And Charger Bug is kinda nice against Swampert, not bad, because Exesar deals decent damage. And now we will try to win the, the battle, because it's important to me to flip the battle here. This guy is now shielding, and let's see if this guy decides to shield this. I got some doubts, but decides to shield. So, okay. I guess I'm going to do the same and farm the rest. So, but I couldn't farm, so I'm going to throw another egg scissor, and this one part is down now. And now it's the talent flame. Okay, I will bring some part really fast because I know the clock is almost opening. And this guy just throw like it's a fly, awesome. Be really bad if it was a brave bird, but almost nobody is running brave bird on town flame at this point. And now I just reached this last hydro cannon on the CP with a charger bug, which is awesome. And that guy misplayed here because he should know that Swampert wins the CMP or probably has lost um, the energy that Swampert was running and at this point it's good game. so probably I I would lose this battle if this guy didn't misplay it against the Swamper to charge a hook so let's move for the next one I guess Pidgeot is quite good for this cup I was running Toxapex at the beginning but, uh, but I was Facing too many mud boys and charger bugs, so I gave up on Toxapex and just switched it for the Pidgeot. And Pidgeot is doing great here. And now this is a Quagsire. It's up to you. You can go for the straight move. You can go for the Feather Dance. Here I decided to go for the Feather Dance and call a bait the first one, but I'm not going to call the bait the second move. And now this is the play I want to do. 
Feather Dance all the way, and from this point you don't need to shield anything from uh, from the Quagsire. So fine, you can throw your Stone Edge. I can survive it all the day. And I'm going to throw this Feather Dance before this guy reaches another charge move. And I don't have to worry, I know it's a Hakotel. And now it's a Talon Flame. So I will go for a Feather Dance. Lower the attack, which is fine. And now I can bring Swampert safely. I'm not sure if this was CMP, I guess not. Because Talon Flame beats Swampert in the CMP usually. At, le at least I'm, I'm losing the. The same piece against the down flame, and now this guy has a bigger speed in the back. So, this guy is. is weak against the Swampert at the mud boy in the, on the lead, and really bad against the Swampert in the back. So, I guess it's a mistake because mud boys are everywhere in this cup. And now, Charger Bug will apply some pressure on this Diggers B. Because I want to preserve the Swampert to deal with the Talonflame in the back. Fine. Now it's Talonflame again. And I guess this charge from this ranch is enough. No. But I had the Hydro Cannon saved to throw on this Talonflame because I was aware that my Charger Bug would lose the battle against the Diggers B. But we'll win the CMP against the Talon Flame in the back. So good game. <coughs> Sometimes it's important to save a move because Talon Flame was a dangerous Pokemon. If you, I don't have enough energy and I was aware of that, that's why I saved the Hydro Cannon from Swampert. So now it's Talon Flame again. It's a popular pick for this Summer Cup. Kinda nice Pokemon. And here again I'm going for the Feather Dance. This guy decides to let it go. First guy I'm facing that decides to do this. Okay, so now I guess this deserves the shield. And now I'm going to feather dance this thing again. Okay. Now I'm forced this guy to throw energy, which is fine. And now I will bring Swampert to farm this thing. And this guy has a mud boy in the back. And now with the amount of energy that I've saved here, I'm going to do some decent damage. Here I got the lag. Uh, a decent lag to lower the attack, but okay. It's, uh, it seems it's uh, a part of this game, the lag. And here I just throw the charge book to absorb this cult. Because I knew I couldn't reach another Hydro Cannon in time. Now this guy is just throwing energy. Tried to catch move, but I was aware of that move. And now I have some energy loaded on Charger Bug, and Charger Bug with energy loaded is quite a threat. And now he's opposing Charger Bug as well. Okay, so this guy has decided to farm all the way with the Hold Switch. But with this fast move, I already reached the Hydro Cannon, so I'm not afraid of that Charger Bug, and this is going to be a good game. It was a really close one. This guy was quite smart, not throwing energy on my Charger Bug, farming all the way. And yeah, I spell there. Let's move for the. Yes, I guess this is the last one. Let's see. <coughs> Let's see if I can pick another win. With this amazing team. Now it's a Tortunator. First time I'm seeing this Pokemon in the Summer Cup. I'm not sure how I'm going to play this, but I guess I'm going to Feather Dance it. Let's see. This guy decides to shield. Decides not to shield, but I'm not afraid of the Dragon Pulse. Does decent damage even with the Feather Dance effect. And now I'm going for the Brave Bird. Let's see what this guy decides to do right now. So now you decide to shield, okay? Okay. I'm going to bring Swampert and farm down. This guy has two Dragon Pulse loaded, so I have to watch out. I have to shield at least once. 
And now I will farm the rest. But okay, I can thank this dragon pose because Feather Dance uh, supplied a fat with the Pidgeot. And now I have a loaded Swampert Piff energy. What can stop a Swampert Piff loaded energy? Only grass type, I guess. Let's see. This guy brings, decides to bring a Greninja. Okay. Greninja is dangerous. But after this Hydro Cannon, I'm going to snipe with my Charger Bug and that Greninja is almost down. But from this point, I have to do some catch because that Greninja has a, has a, have a Hydro Cannon or a Night Slash loaded. And I know that will be enough to knock out my Pokemons because Greninja has a, a really huge attack. Okay. So I'm going to shield this and let's see what this guy decides to do from this point. Okay, the clock was still locked, so I have um, two X scissors and now I have to switch immediately for Swampert because I was I was preventing um, a charge move and now no more energy for Greninja and X scissor will knock out this Pokemon. So good game. <coughs> and I made a 5-0 with this team, this team seems really nice, I tried so, uh, some teams with Toxapex, Superior, but none of them sounded nice for this cup and when I tried this one, this team just doing miracles and I'm still in the rank 17, I will try to reach the ace rank soon, hope you enjoyed and see you next time.